In this video, we're going to go over the Vocalizer text-to-speech engine as well as some other voices you can use for Android. Hi everyone, it's Carrie from Live Accessible and I make videos on technology and encouragement for people who are blind and visually impaired. If you're interested in that type of video, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video. So I've been getting a lot of requests and questions about what voice I use um, for talkback because I have made a lot of talkback videos and where I don't use the Google text-to-speech engine, the default one that talkback comes with. So today I want to answer that question and talk about what Vocalizer is, how to set it up on your phone, as well as some other options that are out there. Vocalizer is made by Code Factory and these are some voices that are also available on things like the iPhone as well as you can use it for Android. VDA and you can also use them for things like zoom text and JAWS so you can use these voices um, in lieu of the default voices that come with your screen reader so first what you want to do is go to the Play Store and search for vocalizer TTS and once you have that installed I already have it installed so I'm going to open it open. and I'm gonna double tap Vocalize on there voices. Settings. Right here, you have a list of all the voices that are available with Vocalizer. So I'm going to show you the US voices because I live in the US, but it, wherever you live, you can check out the other voices for your country. US English. So I'm going to double tap on US English. English, Nathan, Embedding Pro V3, 4, 3, default voice. So right here, I have my default voice as Nathan, which is what you're hearing right now. U.S. English, Allison, $3.99. So each of these voices are $3.99. Listen to a sample. U.S. English, listen to a sample. So, so let's listen to the sample. Buffer. Hello, Stop. how are you doing? Here I am to be the voice of anything you can think of. Listen to a sample. Okay, and there's some other voices here Download. too. U.S. English, Ava, three, listen to a sample. Here's another sample. Hello, Stop. how are you doing? Here I am to be the voice of anything you can think of. So if you wanted to purchase one of these voices, you would go to the download button to a sample. Download voice. and double tap there. Trial period active, try for free. So if you have the trial, you can try that voice for free and see if you really like it. And then if you swipe forward, voice. later. Purchase voice. You can purchase the voice and then so that will just take you through the whole Google Pay payment system and that's what you do. Now for the voices that you have already purchased because I have Nathan and I also have Tom. If you want to switch between the voices that you've had, you go to the voice um, that you already have purchased and you want to switch to. US English, Tom. I'm going to double tap on Tom. Unfortunately, it doesn't tell you once it makes it a default, but if you swipe back and forth. Yeah, US English, Tom, Embedding Pro V3, 4, 3, default voice. At the very end, it'll tell you that that is now your default voice. So I'm going to turn TalkBack on and off again, and then it'll change the voice to Tom. Now it has Tom as the voice. Book settings about. US delete voice data. Now there's a lot of settings that you can change on these vocalizer voices. So if you go to the top of this page, US English settings. You'll find a settings button and if you double tap there, settings voice. So if you go through these settings, you can see different things about different volumes and different pitch changes that you can make. You can add to your dictionary and um, also customize how it says emojis and add to your dictionary and things like that. So there's a lot of different options there to explore. I also want to mention um, that there are other voices that a lot of people like to use like eloquence um, unfortunately they no longer sell eloquence for android um, unless you have purchased it in the past you won't be able to use it so if you did not purchase that in the past it is no longer on the google play store um, me and pablo had purchased it in the past so we do have that another option is acapella voices and i have one of their voices which is will and i will show you um, a little sample of that play Hi, I'm the American English speech synthesis voice from acapella. Efficient. 
fast and of very high quality. Why not try me out with your own words? I personally prefer vocalizer voices. I just find them more appealing and I, I'm more comfortable with them. But again, it's great to have different options out there. If you do find an alternative text to speech engine that you like, and now you want to switch over to this new um, text to speech engine, for example, if you were using the Google text to speech before and now you want to use vocalizer, uh, you will have to go to the text to speech settings and change the engine. If you are using TalkBack, you can open the settings. TalkBack menu. Then you can go to text to speech options. Screen hide screen voice com TalkBack setting. Text to speech settings. You can also do the same thing if you go to your settings, then accessibility, and then text to speech options. Um, so I'm gonna double tap here. Text to speech help book. Navigate up. And we're gonna swipe text forward. To speech help search settings. Help and feedback. Preferred engine, vocalizer TTS. So right there, um, when it says preferred speech engine, you double tap. Preferred engine, ne preferred engine, not checked. Google text to speech engine, not checked. A capital TTS. So I already have vocalizer um, selected, but if I wanted to change over to the acapella voice, I can do that here and I'll double tap. Attention. This speech synthesis engine may be able to collect all the text that will be spoken, including personal data like passwords and credit card numbers. It comes from the Acapella TTS engine. Enable the use of this speech synthesis engine. So you'll have to accept this. Cancel. Okay. And I'll press OK. And I'll double tap. Using Acapella TTS. Per not checked. Checked. Not checked. So that is how you switch your text to speech engine. So that is the voice I use. I prefer Nathan. I want to know what voice do you guys use when you're using TalkBack or anything that needs a text to speech engine? Leave that in the comments below. I'd love to know what you guys use. So if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up below and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos like this. Thanks everybody for watching and I will see you in the next video.